Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're focusing on Evergy Inc., a leading utility company that provides electricity to customers in Kansas and Missouri. Evergy is committed to delivering reliable energy while transitioning to more sustainable power sources, including wind and solar. We'll explore how behavioral finance influences their strategic decisions, DEI efforts, adaptation to market changes, and how they compare to other companies in the utility sector. Let's dive in. Evergy has established itself as a key player in the utility sector, but from a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like risk, aversion, and the status quo bias influence their decision making, particularly in energy transition strategies and infrastructure investments? Risk aversion is a significant factor in Evergy's decision making, especially when it comes to transitioning to renewable energy and making infrastructure investments. This bias might lead the company to prioritize strategies that minimize financial risk, such as maintaining a strong reliance on established energy sources like natural gas and coal, even as they expand their renewable energy portfolio. While this approach helps ensure the reliability of energy supply and financial stability, it may also slow down their ability to fully transition to clear energy sources. Status quo bias is another key factor where Evergy might be inclined to maintain their existing infrastructure and operational strategies, even when market conditions or regulatory pressure suggest the need for more aggressive investments in renewable energy. This can lead to a focus on gradual change rather than bold innovation. This focus on minimizing risk and maintaining reliability has helped Evergy build a stable business, appealing to investors who prioritize steady returns and lower volatility in the utility sector. Exactly. Evergy's emphasis on stability and risk management has made it a reliable choice for investors seeking consistent performance in the utility sector. However, the company must balance this with a willingness to accelerate its transition to renewable energy to stay competitive and aligned with regulatory and consumer demands for cleaner energy. Moving on to market adaptation, Evergy operates in a highly regulated and evolving energy market. How does the company adapt to changing market conditions and regulatory environments, and how does behavioral finance influence this strategy? Evergy's ability to adapt to changing market conditions and regulatory environments is crucial for maintaining its leadership position in the utility sector. From a behavioral finance perspective, the company's strategy involves balancing the need for innovation with the risks associated with transitioning to new energy sources and making significant infrastructure investments. Risk aversion might make Evergy more cautious about investing heavily in renewable energy or new technologies, but they also recognize the importance of staying competitive in a market that is increasingly focused on sustainability and regulatory compliance. This requires a careful assessment of market trends, regulatory developments, and technological advancements to ensure that their strategies are both effective and sustainable. This adaptability is key for Evergy, especially as they face competition from both traditional utilities and newer, more sustainability-focused energy companies. Their ability to innovate while maintaining reliability is essential for their continued success. Exactly. Evergy's success will depend on their ability to balance innovation with the strength of their established infrastructure, ensuring that they remain competitive while also maintaining the stability that their investors and customers value. They must continue to evolve and adapt to meet the challenges and opportunities presented by regulatory changes and shifts in energy demand. Now, let's compare Evergy, Inc. to other companies in the utility sector like NextEra Energy, Duke Energy, and American Electric Power. How do Evergy's behavioral finance dynamics differ? Evergy's dynamics are often compared to other leaders in the utility sector, such as Next Era Energy, Duke Energy, and American Electric Power, particularly in their approach to energy transition, risk management, and market adaptation. 
Evergy's emphasis on maintaining stability and gradually transitioning to renewable energy appeals to investors looking for consistency in the utility sector. Next Era Energy, known for its aggressive investment in renewable energy, appeals to those interested in growth through sustainability. Duke Energy, with its diversified energy portfolio and focus on both traditional and renewable energy, offers a balanced approach, while Amir. Can Electric Power's emphasis on grid modernization and infrastructure investments positions it as a leader in adapting to new energy challenges? Evergy's focus on stability and risk management provides a unique value proposition, but it also means they must carefully manage the risks of being too conservative in a rapidly changing energy market. And unlike next year, Energy or American Electric Power, which have a stronger focus on renewable energy and grid modernization, Evergy's strength lies in its ability to maintain reliable energy service while gradually transitioning to cleaner energy sources. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value. For Evergy, the focus on stability and gradual energy transition provides a unique value proposition in the utility sector. To sum up, Evergy, Inc. S approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles, whether it's through their energy transition strategies, DEI initiatives, or market adaptation. But like all companies, they must navigate the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics offers a clearer picture of what drives Evergy's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank <laughs> you.